I'm Janice Sabalski and this is my granddaughter Nevis and we have built a fairy garden. This is the second year that we've built a fairy garden. Um, I invite all grand grandmothers, grandchildren, mothers to go ahead and give a try at building a fairy garden because it's really a lot of fun. There is a category in the Beautiful Gardens contest uh, for fairy gardens and special gardens. So give it a try. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it and it really isn't all that difficult. So Nevis and I would like to do a little tour of the fairy garden we have. Starting at this end, this is the gnome section. We've got three little gnome huts here. In behind, we've got our little frogs. That's where they live. And you can see there's a couple little yoga frogs there on their little rocks. There's pathways between each of the gnomes' houses, and some of them are hanging out on the patio there. We've got little steps. We have a little well in the corner where they get their water. And there's a little water barrel here with there's a lot of water in it right, right now because we just had a little bit of a rain. This is a walkway that leads from the gnome section over to uh, kind of a park area. We have uh, a little pen of horses over here. And this is a hot tub for the gnomes that we built last year. We added a little outhouse this year, which I'm sure is a great relief to the gnomes. There's little bridges and things that go over and around and all this is natural kind of landscape that was there except for the moss that we put in. You can see there's a tiny little house over here. It's got the little flamingos on top. And this is a little hole that this dog runs in and out of. He can actually get down into it and then he climbs back out. Sometimes he's there and sometimes he's in another part of the garden. Over here we have a little bit of a beach that we built. It's got our little pier and our shells and a little, we have a little Volkswagen van and a lighthouse that we added a couple of days ago. And all this section in here is kind of a store. We have sacks of grain, we have fruit, and we have a little tub full of ice and soft drinks and some cases of wine there. You can see somebody is coming to have a snack there with the wine and the cheese on the table. And this is our little birthday cake. So it's going to be a birthday party later and they've set the birthday cake out. This is kind of like a town square area. And we have a little bit of a subdivision here with these little houses that are all in a circle. There's a little train that runs back and forth and you can see it's just in the back there. So we're getting into the fairy section now, and this is a little clothesline. They have their, their clothes all strung out on the clothesline. And there's their wood pile and a little bicycle because they ride back and forth. And then we move on to the garden. So they got a little garden with their cabbages and their carrots, and they pick them and, and sell them, it looks like. It says, pick your own. And the little pig pen is over here. We have a tiny little... Uh, tub with ducks in it. It have five ducks and Nevis and I are looking for the other duck because it seems to be lost. There's a little fish pond here with some little koi fish swimming in it and then we're in the little playground area right now. The chicken house we just added this year and the chickens seem to be always running away, right Nevis? We all find the chickens in all different parts of the yard. This is a little sitting area and we have our little fountain and I really like giraffes, so we have our little giraffes eating the ornamental cabbage. And this is, uh, the end of the garden is our witch, and as you can see, all you can see is her legs and her feet sticking out. And uh, based on that bottle of moonshine there, I'd say we know why she bailed out on her broom. All the little candles on her, in front of her house have gone out, so she's not a very happy witch. So that's the whole length of our garden and maybe it'll help give you ideas on how to make one of your own. <laughs>